Hello everyone, welcome back to WrestleWorld. Huge game today. The Somali British Champions League final. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this competition is, I'll explain a little bit about the competition. Uh, it's had huge, huge coverage in the last couple of weeks. Uh, so let me get right into it. Uh, it started about five years ago. It's been running for four because one of the seasons were cancelled due to COVID. Uh, so let me tell you how it started group of people from Northwest London, they came together, had this idea of creating uh, this Somali Champions League to bring the community together because at the time there was a lot of postcode wars uh, between all the Somalis and the youth especially. Uh, so they decided to bring something in place to try and bring the community together. And my God, what a good job they have done because I'll show you some videos now. So this is the semi-final a few weeks ago and just look what it means to teams, to the fans. This was an equaliser in the last minute to take a game to extra time. So I'll play it now. What a goal! Yes! Oh my days! 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 You see that there was like 300 maybe 400 people there all celebrating an equalizer uh, unfortunately for that team they lost in extra time but we'll get to the teams now uh, so the final is uh, Manchester Powerhouse versus Hilltop. Uh, so the competition, so there were 12 teams in the competition, starts off at the group stages, is literally the Champions League. Uh, so you play each other twice, and then you go into the knockouts, quarterfinals, play each other twice again, home and away, uh, and then the final. But uh, the good thing about this competition is there's teams from all over the UK. So there's a team from Cardiff, there's a team from Manchester, there's a team from Birmingham, there's a team from Leicester, there's teams from London, so it's literally getting bigger and bigger and it's across the whole of the UK. And uh, this might be the last edition of it from what I'm hearing. Hopefully not because the amount of people that come just to watch these games on a Sunday, you don't even get this in a Sunday Cup final. So 200 people, uh, the owner was telling me, come to a group stage game. Four to 500 people come to a semi-final game. It's crazy, crazy numbers. So today I'm refereeing the final and I'm expecting like, 500 people loads of cameras and it's just going to be crazy uh, so yeah the two teams manchester powerhouse this is their first ever season uh in the somali champions league and they're in the final uh they've had a great run they've topped their group so i'll put the group here uh they've beaten the runners up from last season which was leicester atletico and also they beat the current holders cardiff bay warriors uh in the semi-final so the previous round so the video you saw uh, Cardiff Bay equalised in the last minute to take it to extra time. Uh, unfortunately, they lost, so Manchester beat them in extra time. And they are in the final, their first ever season, and they're in the final of this huge competition. And they'll be playing Hilltop. Uh, Hilltop are a big team. They're a semi-pro team, so they're playing step five of the combined counties. They also have a team in the Islington Midweek Premier Division. They won that, and uh, they're also in the final of this. Not only unbeaten, they've won every single game. So they top their group six out of six and they've won every single match in the knockouts, uh, which is very difficult. They play some good teams and they just keep winning. So on paper, they are the heavy favourites. Newcomers are in the final. You don't expect much of them in the first season, but they're in the final and they're playing big team in Hilltop who also won the competition in uh, 2020. So not only they've won this competition, they're back in the final. They want to regain that trophy. It's going to be a big one. And they've got semi-pro players. So on paper, they're favourites. But it's the final. Anything could happen. Uh, when I saw this a few weeks ago, I hit the person up on Insta and I was like, I love what you're doing. I would love to be a part of the final. And he was like, yes, come and ref it. So here we go. I'm refing it. Uh, I'm travelling up to Birmingham. So it's about a two and a half hour drive. Four o'clock kickoff. So literally just getting my stuff ready now, going to drive up there. Don't know how much recording I'm going to do. I'll probably show the ground and then we're just going to get straight into the game because I am absolutely buzzing for this one. And also, because it's an unofficial competition, 
I'm going to be mic'd up. So you're going to hear all the interactions between me and the players. Uh, but just to say, it's because it's unofficial. If it was with the FA and stuff, you can't be mic'd up. It's not allowed. It's against the laws of the game. It literally says it. So uh, this is a one-off special and I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you at the ground. Just got to the ground now, mate. It is warm, 32 degrees. Stadium pitch, like I said, we're walking through it now. Referee. Okay, free to go. Free to go, yeah. Push, don't push have to back and then go. Push back and go, yeah. Lovely, thank you. Kind of a small pitch to be fair. But then did in this wall. So this is the changing room. Shower behind me. I'm a soup toilet in there. Decent space. So I'm literally just gonna go outside, sit in the sun for a bit, chill out. Uh teams haven't arrived yet. They're coming on a minibus. One's coming from London, like I did, one's coming from Manchester. And uh, yeah man, there's a game before, as you saw the teams warming up. So once that is done, we'll head out main game will take place it's gonna be a good game man i can't wait for this one just want to take a second to admire the fans look at this and this is not even half of it wait until we get into the game and you see the rest of them turn up Ahmed, when you're ready, leave the handshakes for me. Have a good one, okay? Keep have a good one, okay? Have a good one, okay? Have a good one, okay? Have a good one. Have a good one. Have a good one, bro. Have a good one. Have a good one, bro. Have a good one. 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 Let's go. Have a good one. Let's go. Have a good one. Let's go. Have a good one. 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 I'm dry out there, guys. Check next for me. I'll see you in the middle, okay? Check next for me. Just have a little cool and stuff. How are you again, Jabril? How are you again? That's Trevor. That is Lee. I'm Dimitri. Guys, if you've forgotten our names already, it's Ref and Lino. Simmons don't play. Nothing more, nothing less, okay? Well done for getting to the final. We've got a very nice pitch today. As long as you don't want to play football, I'll keep the game flowing. Happy to speak to players as long as they're respectful. This tone, if someone's shouting at me from 20 yards, they're not going to get a response, okay? If I'm having troubles with players, I might call you guys to help me out. I might prevent a yellow, might prevent a simbin. Help me out. If you're no use to me, I'll do it myself. It'll be a simbin or yellow or whatever I have to do, okay? You're technically the away team. Call it for me. Tails, it's heads. You get to choose sides or kickoff. Stay that side. It's your kickoff. Good boy, have a good one. Ahmed, have a good one. Have a good one, Lee. Have a good one, mate. Keeper! Lee! Keeper! Trevor! Oh, let's go, man. Come on, man. Captain! And let's get the first half started. Hilltop to kick us off shooting from left to right. I'm really excited for this game. No head! No! No, I'll be careful. Early penalty shouts in the first three minutes of the game. So let's have a look at this. It was a handball shout. Uh, the pair goes for a header. He wins the header and he heads it onto his shoulder. Would you have given a penalty? In the back. All over him. Jabu has come round with his arm there. Not yeah, he's come round. He's come round with his arm there. Keep your arms down. And I don't have to give it. Where's the ball going? Oh, it's out there. Want the whistle for me, okay? Just hear from you guys. Guys, because you're in the box, keep your arms to yourself, okay? You can cover your face, just not above your head or away from your body. Take one step back. Take a tiny step back for me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, 
wait for the flare, don't worry. So this was a problem during the first half of flares, fireworks, fans running onto the pitch which was delaying the game quite a bit so you'll see quite a bit of added time uh, the event organizers saw it out for the second half and manchester take the lead from this set piece whipped in and this is a great header by the captain one nil advantage keep playing nine be careful no ankle first don't even think about it no chance mate Getting his ankle first, he's not getting a ball. You good? Play when you're ready. Nine, just be careful there on the late one, please. And here comes a bit of stick from the Manchester fans for not giving their team a throw in. Now you're going to hear me laughing in a second and that's because I didn't give uh, that free kick. Threw himself to the floor and now the fans are singing we love you Dimitri, we do. <laughs> Keeper, don't start doing it now. So I'm just going to leave this warning in for the keeper because you'll see later why. Let's go. Pulling his shorts. To pull. Nine. Wait there. Nine. Wait there. Listen, that's three fouls now. Although they've been soft, you're persistently fouling, okay? Be careful, okay? Because next one I might book you, alright? Just be careful for me. I know you're doing purpose, like, that's three in a row in the five minutes. I agree. That's why I haven't given all of them, but that's three. Four, and I just had a word with you as well. And I just had a word with you. Wait there, wait there. I literally just spoke to you as well. That's four fouls. After literally there, just speaking to that player, he then commits that challenge. Our first booking of the game. I just spoke to you as well about it, and you was late there. No chance. No, you was late. I told you, be careful. You literally done it two minutes later. Advantage. There was advantage there. Ah -ah. There was advantage there. You both okay? Joint treatment, Jabril. Joint treatment. Yes, please! Joint treatment. Alright. Alright, Jabril. On the whistle. Start moving back for me. It's on the whistle. Second yellow card of the game goes to another Manchester player for that late challenge. Hold it there now! Hold it there! He's up. And that's the equalising goal from that free kick. The 22 whips it round the wall. Keeper gets a hand to it, but it goes into the back of the net for the equalising goal. Yes! 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 No chance, mate. He got his foot to the ball and you kicked him. Move away. No chance. Move away. He got his foot to the ball and you kicked him. End off. You both went in for it. Say that again. Yeah, no problem. It's going to be no worries. That was clear. Very clear.
Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are. Relax, man. Yeah? Look. 20. Relax. Let me do it. 20. Relax. 20. 20. Relax. Yeah, you don't, you don't even know. What. Look, yeah. Mate, I'm not going to do it. It's one minute to half time. Just be careful of the tackles. I know you went for the ball, but just be careful of those ones, okay? Because I don't want it spilling over. Yeah, I know it is. I know. I haven't said anything. I'm just saying be careful. Three. I can't play with this, so you're seeing this, and it's half time, man. I uh, stop, look, look how many areas we play 52 minutes. Huh? What's that, all the offside? Oh, I can't call that, though. I've got to go in, that's why I've got an assistant. No. Look at the pitch, man. We can't know. No, mate. And it's 2 1 to Manchester just before the half time whistle. This player seems to just run through the whole team, plays a nice through pass to the striker who finishes first time into the bottom corner. 2 1. Let me say, get up, it's half time. It's half time. Yeah, yeah, when they pass it, it's half time. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Ahmed, Ahmed, hurry up, it's half time. Half time now. Look at this way I've stopped it. What time do you stop? Look, wait, we played 53. We've just got to 45. We played eight minutes extra. I know, I know, but I stopped it straight away. And that's the half-time whistle, Manchester going to the half 2-1 up, uh, you'll hear that a few players complaining about the fans coming onto the pitch, but I did play 8-9 to nine minutes, stop it. Uh, added how, on how time, I, I tried to I do the best that I could, but the event organisers sort that, that for the half-time, and I'm how just going to play a quick interview by it? another content creator who's out there doing his thing, he gave me the footage, so go subscribe to his channel, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, mate, this is so enjoyable, man. You enjoy Flares, it? Yeah, man. I'm enjoying it. The standard is good. Is it's it quick first, pace. Is it your first um, time doing this? or is it... uh, For the Somali uh, Champions League, it is. Yeah. But finals, I think this is my fifth one this season. Great atmosphere. It's a great atmosphere, man. I've, I've seen, seen that you had like a, it. Yeah, I've seen you had a bit of an issue earlier. You know what? To get there, there was, yeah, there was an issue with that, but they're compliant, man. They're yeah. trying to do their best. Everyone's enjoy moved to that side as well, so it's really helpful. So you're enjoying it then? Really enjoying nice it, mate. Nice to meet really you, man. And you, man. Hey, good luck for the yeah. second half. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed that interview. Let's get right into the second half. Uh, hopefully more of the same. And you can see behind the dugout, all the fans have cleared. That's because the event organisers have moved all the fans behind where the stand is. So it's a lot easier for us to see down the line. Move away from me. Move away from me. Ahmed! Move away from me, move away from me. One second. One second. This one was debatable. It's, it's, it's a tiny bit late to go play. Right, wait here for me. Wait here for me. Did he not? Mm -mm, player first. Listen to me, yeah? He's had four already, he's been booked. There's one more. Please calm it down on the fouls. I do not want to send someone off in a final, okay? Relax on the fouls, okay? I, I'm not saying right or wrong call, just relax on the fouls for me, okay? No problem, give me a thumbs up please. Just relax on the fouls, man. Yeah, but you're flying in, you know you are. Ahmed, you good? Ahmed, you good? You don't see the challenge or the cameraman picking up me booking the player, but this was the third yellow card of the game. This is first one. Their left back was his first one, he got booked in the first half for that free kick you got there, okay? Our fourth yellow card of the game, they're starting to come thick and fast here, played a good advantage, they gained another about 30-40 yards and then he was brought down just outside the box, so another booking. Just here, please, where I am. Thank you. On the whistle for me, okay? Keep on the whistle! Why 
Yeah, you're not giving him five no, minutes. No, no, no. Move away from him. He's kicking yes, Fizzo! Not for you, Pet. Not for you. Where's your Fizzo? I'm mean, in mean, Abbey. Players asking for a red card. Let's take one more look at it as we zoom in here. I think he catches him on his foot. Don't think it's a red card. Think it's a yellow card. Uh, let me know what you think. So the keeper gets booked here for time wasting. Again, the cameraman just pans to the left. But uh, I warned him a few times. It was taking way too long. So book for the keeper. I think that's yellow card number six now. No chance, man. Listen, I'm not going to have any more from you. Next one's a booking. Four, turn around for me, acknowledge it. And that's booking number seven, definitely a yellow card. And uh, if you saw me there, I quickly had a look in my book because I yeah, couldn't I remember if he was one of the players on a yellow card. He wasn't. Uh, so just a yellow card and our seventh booking of the game. No chance. Pen shouts late on, so let's take another look at it. He crosses the ball in the play, gets the shot off, and it's kind of momentum takes him into the defender blocking the shot. Let me know if you would have given a penalty. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Get on with it! Get on with it! Wait for the signal! Wait for the signal! Wait for the signal! Let's go! Let's go! No chance! Let's go! Get on with it! Get on with it! On you come now! On you come now! Number? Number? Move away from me! Number? Get off a bit! The organisation on the page! You can ground him, mate. You can gain yards. You can ground him. You haven't told him to come back on. Huh? You haven't told him to come back on. Yeah, I did. Just now, yeah, when I went there. So a sub came on, uh, he didn't have shin pads so he had to go back on so I was just telling the guy to get on with it and telling the sub to wait for the signal to then come on but as you can see the guy was taking way too long to restart the play so he's been booked for time wasting as well. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, move away, move away, move away, move away, move away. Move away. Move away. no he's tripped you, that's all it was, move away. 22. Don't do nothing stupid. Hey, 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 it's been a good game. Don't do it. It's been a good game. I've had it. Our ninth yellow card of the game. Uh, this is the only time in the game that it threatened to boil over, but I was right on top of that. I managed to separate the players. Quick yellow card. Definitely a foul. He's tripped them over. No attempt to play the ball. Stop the counter attack. Uh, our ninth booking. And that's the full time whistle, Manchester Powerhouse are your Somali British Champions League final winners their first season and they've won the competition. Uh, I'll let you enjoy the celebrations, this was an amazing game, an amazing match to be a part of and I'm so glad I got to do the final. Uh, I'll put on my rest stick stats quickly, you can see there just over 10 kilometers covered on a very hot day, uh, 30 degrees, but it was a very enjoyable game to be a part of and enjoy the flares and fireworks.